Dungannon, Thomas Clark's side, first final since 1986, and lining out in goals will be number one, Dara Martin, the cornerback, the man who will go down in Dungannon history for that famous 45, kicked against Arigal in the last round, that will be number two, Kieran Parker, then David Walsh is three, Conal Devlin, the 19-year-old student is four, number five is Dylan O'Hagan, six is Sean Malloy, Mark McKerney wears number seven. Middle of the field sees one late change, that's Brian McNulty, will drop out and he will be replaced by number 20, Ryan Jones but don't expect Jones to play there and then Podrick McNulty, the captain of the team will wear number 9 moving into the forward division and that sees Ryan Jones's brother Daly, he will wear number 10 Oren Mallon will wear number 11 Matthew Walsh will wear 12 and then the full forward line, it's Lorcan Mallon wearing 13, Patrick Malloy wearing 14 and 15 the sharpshooter shooter Paul Donaghy with 31 points will wear number 15. You're quite right Jerry. we don't expect Ryan Jones to play midfield, uh, I would imagine that Owen Mallon, Owen's wearing number 11 lined out at centre half, he'll go straight into midfield and you'll see Matty Walsh maybe moving to centre half and Ryan playing on the wing We have right for you today, they've given us great entertainment in this run to the final, so if you're anywhere in the world and you want a shout out, we will try and pick up your message if you come through on my Twitter feed at chair, dot, at chair underscore Tracy. I will try and pick it up at some stage during the commentary. Peter, and brilliant atmosphere brilliant. for the small and, crowd. In terms of vocal support, I think Dungannon are one up on, on that front. Their, their supporters going crazy over at the far side and, and giving their players every encouragement. Key matchups, Jer, as with any big game, is going to be decided by key matchups. So I'm going to be uh, looking forward to see who picks up Paul Donaghy, the chief marksman for Dungannon. And likewise, if Dungannon are going to get in out of today's game, uh, Hoover is going to pick up Matty Donnelly and it looks as if it's Matty Walsh from the Dungannon playing number 12 wing half forward who's gone back to pick up uh, Matty Donnelly so that's going to be uh, a key battle we're underway and Shane Meehan is our match referee. Standby referee is Shane Doherty. Linesman is Mark Lochran. The fourth official is Sean Devaney. And of course they'll be assisted by their umpires. That's Cal McCrory, Paddy Grant at this Trillic team attack. Daniel McDonald lays it inside. And here come the Trillic men again to the aforementioned Lee Brennan. He's making the, all the movements out around the midfield sector, picking up an awful lot of ball playing nearly like a, a quarterback here he goes again, slips it inside looking for the return, this is brilliant, Liam Brennan in Brennan, can he finish? Yes he can! What a wonderful goal by Lee Brennan he started the move, he was on the end of the move and he rattles the back of the net in Healy Park and Dungannon lead, or Trillick lead a goal and two to Dungannon's no score, what a goal Peter Cannibal oh, Absolutely superb from one of the players of the championship but again Jerry picked the ball up deep, he picked it up outside his 45 Meter line. He was low to give. Nobody checked his run. Fast hands by Trillick. And uh, the, referee, what a the referee has his hand up. The referee gives the advantage. And I suppose Peter, these are the crucial kicks that the Duncan men need to take. They've missed two to date. Yeah, and uh, I thought Paul would have left it. Kieran Parker. Kieran's well able to, to strike it from there. They've elected to go short. Daly Jones on the ball. Yeah, Daly Jones cutting inside. Has Donaghy inside him, but elects to take it with him. Brings it into a little bit of trouble. Slips a short ball now. Shot there by Patrick Malloy. Malloy gets the shot away. It looks good. It is good. It's the opening score of the 2020 final for Patrick Malloy and Duncanon Clarks. He's got four in, in the competition today. Make that five. Brilliant approach play by Daly Jones. Fast feet. Uh, Waited hugging both Whitten. sidelines and uh, very well spotted by Ryan, Ryan Gray. And at, at last, again, and a money to win a, a kick out. Trillick uh, have won about 90% of the breaks here, but great fetching in the middle by Potty McNulty. Super take by McNulty. That's what this team will need. They'll need the leadership of Potty McNulty, All Ireland minor winner in 2010, a senior panelist in 2015 to 2019. But his focus is on his beloved Duncan and Clarks, and now they've got themselves a free, and this will be an opportunity for them. And I would think maybe Paul Donaghy. Maybe we'll come over and fancy his chances at this one. Uh, I see Paddy, yeah, Paddy, Paddy Malloy's Paddy left, foot left foot. Yeah. And probably not a bad decision. He's seen that, that Paul has missed the first two. Wouldn't be a straightforward kick for Paul. Uh, the Mark Lo side Lachan. line, yeah, tell official Mark Lohan is telling him to come back a yard or two. Yeah. Uh, Big kick in the context of this game, 1 3 to a point. Here comes. Malloy, he's kicked one in the game to date. Can he make it two? It's on its way. It looks good. It is good. Yes, over the bar. It goes his second point, and 
He's a man in confidence, yeah, well, confidence. Well, it was good, number one, to see a player wanting to, uh, to kick it as soon as the free uh, was given. Paddy went, the went from straight out. Dungana, but the spaces that these Dungana, or these Trillic players are finding is very, very threatening. Looking for the Trillic men as they come out with the ball in the shape of the industrious Ryan Jones. Did he carry it too far? Did he get fouled? Roughly, says the latter. It's a free for Ryan Jones and now will Kieran Barker fancy his chances at this one or will they go short they'll go short and it's the ever willing and the hard working 21 year old Mark McKerney who comes forward with him McKerney still going looked at the post he's 45 metres out gives it to Daly Jones Daly Jones inside still Jones he created the last score that came from a free that's a wonderful effort from Jones that's a terrific point it's the opening score from play in the game from uh, no Paddy Malloy got one from play and one from a free but that's the opening score from play for yeah. Daly Jones good score yeah and they can thank Sean Malloy down on his own 13 metre line for that turnover great tackle on, on Derek Gallagher he's tempted to hit this with the outside of his uh, boot jar because he scored a number of these <laughs> against our bow he knows he's got the breeze behind him uh, is he going to have a go at it? He certainly is. He, as you said, he's not lacking confidence. This is on its way. It looks good. It is good. What a score. As you alluded to, the man doesn't lack confidence. And when you've got quality, why not utilise it? Well, that should be a big lift to him and, uh, and to Dungannon. They've started the second half in a really positive uh, manner. And they've got to start winning. Trillick won seven out of seven in terms of their own kickouts in the first half. So Dugannon will, will want to address that and, and start really putting pressure on the Trillic kick-out. Trillic kick-out is on its way. Break ball won by Dungannon. Through the middle comes Sean Malloy. He has droves of the green and gold alongside him. Can he utilise them? Lays it off there to Donny. He got one from a free. Now he's got one from play over the bar at sails. Paul Donaghy has started the revival maybe for Dungannon. Two quick points in the space of a minute. But the difference of winning the opposition's kickouts. That's the first one they've won all day, Ger, and they were able to, to run straight through the middle. Trillick didn't have time to get a sweeper back. Sean Molloy, great decision making. Knew that he the score taker uh, Supreme was beside him and Paul Donahue made the right decision, give it to him and Dungannon very much back on track two point game, up the go for the game break ball, won again by Dungannon here they come, this has been a terrific start to the second half for them and who was in there winning it but Ryan Jones one of the small men again I've been really really impressed by That's Ryan Donahue going to kick it with the left but a great block on that occasion as the ball is now fed back keeping the attack going, is Colin Devlin Devlin, the ball goes to ground, picked up there by Donahue for uh, or in fact it's um, number 19 there, Patrick Quinn, who's on the field of play. We, we didn't get notice of that, but Quinn's on, and that's not a surprise. Man who scored 1 7 in the championship to date on the field of play. So, the re, all the reinforcements are coming off the bench to help Dungannon in their bid to win their first ever championship since 1956, 64 years ago. Of course, they've won it 10 times from 1908 09 was the first year they won it. The last time, as I say, they beat, beat Clano in the 1956 final. That's 64 years ago. They're looking to win, get victory here today in Healy Park as Donahue comes forward with it. Good ball inside, treads it inside. Excellent take and well held on that occasion. And over the bar it goes that man Quinn. He's only on the field to play a matter of moments and he's kicked the point over the bar. Won eight in the championship today. Yeah, I, I think he's replaced Paddy Malloy, Jar, but every game again, Paddy Quinn has come on. He's made a difference. He, he makes great runs off the ball, he gets his hands on it, and he's not afraid to shoot. So uh, what a start for him coming on after two or three minutes he decided uh, to use the wing hit it short Richard Donnelly's the man in possession he had a brilliant ball into space what a ball and what a run by Gavin McCarran he got a point in the first half can he get a second one Gardy makes a move for him but great tackling again brilliant tackling it has to be said by Ryan Jones where are these Jones lads get the energy I do not know Ryan and Daly they're all over the place so too is Mark McCarney coming forward now with the ball is Kieran Barker Barker over the far side to Donnelly Donnelly looks up surveys his options goes long and direct inside it goes, watched all the way, it could be a goal it is a goal it's a goal from Patrick Quinn he's only on the field of play I talked about the game being in the metal pot it's more than in the metal pot now at this stage Peter. Uh, what a ball by Paul Donny. we talked about them needing to get the ball in when you have good target men inside uh, Rory Kelly money to get a touch about it hindsight if he had a let it go maybe his keeper would have got it but the touch that he made to it actually played into Paddy Quinn's hands Paddy blasted to the net and Jer, 
Dungannon now in the lead. Unbelievable, unbelievable scenes over in the stand. We might only have two or three hundred Dungannon people in the stand, but they're in Dreamland. Wherever you are, over the all over the world, supporting Dungannon Clarks, you're in Dreamland because your team are leading the 2020 final. And it's that man that was the substitute, uh, Patrick Quinn. He's only on the field a matter of moments. Has scored one one. Here comes Mallon. He fancies his chances. Brilliant from Mallon. Can he finish? The answer is no. Brilliant block by Liam Gray. Super block by Gray. But there will be a 45 and Kieran Barker will fancy this yeah, one. What a game. Don Gannon really on the game now. Owen Mallon is starting to come into it. Uh, he's a great engine. Like his uncle, uh, Bren, who I played with back he's in fed in there by Donaghy. But back with using all his experience as the county captain, Matty Donnelly. Daly brings it into trouble. Referee says he carried it too far. And that this man again, Mark McKearney. Yeah. He's pushing up, realising that they have to put the pressure on track. What a fantastic turnover. And once again, the many times have we said this is a massive kick for, for young Kieran Barker, but if Dungannon are going to get anything out of this game, this has to go over the bar. Yeah, this has to go over the bar. Of course, he scored that magnificent point to beat Ergel in the last round. Can he now bring it down to just a point? I see the board going up over on the far side of the field. It indicates there'll be four minutes of additional time. This must go over from Kieran Barker. Barker's shot is on its way. The umpires look at it. The umpires like it. Kieran Barker with his second narrows the gap to just a point. And again, I'm really pushing up aggressive now on the kick out. Um, Again, I said the earlier, Jet, extra time. Uh, the way this championship has gone this year and thrown final probably deserves a period of extra time. Well, this is just pulsating stuff wherever you are in the world. If you're a Duncanon fan, you are praying and praying and praying that the equaliser comes. If you're from Trillic, well, you're hoping, you're hoping that your side can hold on to this one point advantage. Break ball. Who'll win it? Won there by Richie Donnelly. Who else would you want to win it but the experienced Richie Donnelly looks for the brother but feeds it out instead to Ryan Gray. The brother's on the overlap but brilliant by Matty Walsh. Walsh has turned it over yet again. These Dungannon men just don't know when they're down. They just never give up. It's unbelievable. Fantastic play, Matthew Walsh. Great heart. Matty Donnelly had got his hands on that ball. Certain point for Thrillick. Matty's down now with cramp but fantastic tackling, chasing back. Great heart shown by Dungannon in the closing stages. Kevin Barker's the man with the football. He gives it there to Mark McKerney. McKerney will give it back to Barker. Barker brings it into a bit of trouble. Gray gets the hand in and dislodges the ball, but there's a free there now, and the free will be taken by uh, Padraig McNulty. We look at the watch. It says 31 minutes and 13 seconds played. That means we've just under three minutes. Three minutes for Dungannon to get an equaliser. Here we go with Kieran Barker. Barker gives it back to Donaghy. Donaghy, we look at Trillick, they've one player not behind the ball and that's Niall Gormley, the ball now in the hands of the Dungana men, over it comes to Mark McKerney, McKerney holds the ball up, gives it to Donny. Donny slips it inside to watch. Back to Donny. Donny thought about the left foot shot. He's 45, 47 metres out. Gives it to McKerney. McKerney over here now. The ball is in the hands there of Kevin Barker. Barker back it goes to Kiefer Morgan. Morgan's shot is on his way. The umpire's consult. Has it gone over? It has. Unbelievable. Unbelievable score and what battle, by Kiefer Morgan. And what battle for a man that had missed two kicks earlier. That probably his most difficult didn't shy away from the responsibility either and again brilliant heart by Dungannon this kick out really crucial Dungannon pushing up on the wings trying to force the Trillick keeper to kick it straight out the middle that is just a sensational score by Kiefer Morgan come at the hour come at the man the 28 year old went for it from 40 metres out and now Dungannon have the opportunity maybe to push on they'll think about winning this game we have 31 minute and a half left the ball is in the hands of Mark McKerney he touched the ball four times in the opening minute and their choice now is do they really go for it or, or, or are they content with just holding on possession and seeing the clock they have to be pacing Trillick a lot of bodies behind the ball Dungannon will never get a better opportunity the perfect scenario is to hold it up for another uh, 40 seconds or so and then go for it but that's uh, something that wouldn't be uh, in the coaching manual I would suggest as the ball is held up now by Kevin Barker Barker has Walsh Walsh 65 metres out gives it inside back to Walsh it's opening up for him will he go for it slips it off to Barker will he yes gives it to Barker Barker going for it no fouls can be conceded ball is in the hands now of Daly Jones this to win it 
Jones gives it back to Donaghy. Wouldn't it be fitting if he would notch one? Well, Trillick supporters mightn't agree with that there. Ball is in the hands now. Daly Jones. Jones gives it back to Morgan. Morgan got the point a moment ago. This is good by Dungannon. They're working it into space. Still the opportunity is there. Over the far side of the field it goes. Kieran Barker. Kieran Barker feeds it back out. We have 30 seconds left in this game. 30 seconds between Dungannon and Trillick to win the 2020 final. Dungannon have the opportunity. They're working it across the field. They're going to run out of time. They only have 12, 15 seconds left. It's with McKerney. This is unbelievable. The tenseness. If you're from the Gannon or Trilling, I don't know how you're sticking it. I'm finding it hard myself. Here we go. Matthew Walsh feeds it in. Good ball inside. Oh, it stopped. It's left behind. Referee looks at it. He's blown it. Sure. He has sure. blown it. It's all over. A game of inches. A Paddy Quinn had a caught oh, that ball. He was God. entitled to mark. He wouldn't have missed. Dungannon literally inches away from winning uh, their first county title in 64 years. Brilliant game. And Trollin's the player that Dungannon can't afford uh, to leave free because he's more than, than capable of doing that. Breaking ball in the middle. Who's going to get it? I think it's the Dungannon man that has it on this occasion. Indeed it is. Kevin Barker is the man who wins it for Dungannon. Mark McKerney takes the free for the Dungannon man to Daly Jones. Jones feeds it inside. One on one in there with Quinn and Rory Kelly. What a battle this is. Quinn does well, wins it. Kelly sticks to him like glue, but he sticks too closely to him, says the referee, and the free goes the way of Dungannon. So if uh, Gormley got a free down there, yeah, I think Quinn was entitled yeah. to it. Enough. Yeah. And, and again, the, a tactic that Dungannon should think about doing more often is, is getting the ball in on top of Paddy Quinn. He's such a big, strong player. Great hands. Uses his uh, strength to, to great effect. Kiefer and Morgan, the man Kiefer who... should tap this over. Yeah, the man who levelled the game with that magnificent point in the 32nd minute to bring it to this extra time. Has kicked the ball over the bar from a free and just a point between the sides. And look at Peter. We don't see yeah, there being much... careless from Dungannon's point of view. Um, but again, men are going to have to throw the bodies on the line. Ball's going to break here. Well, Potty McNulty. Broken favourably for the Dungannon men. And I suppose uh, uh, justice maybe because of the fact that it did hit the referee when they were in possession. And but Donny or McNulty has been told to bring yeah. the ball forward. Well, uh, cute play by Potty McNulty. Uh, he had no intention of kicking the ball short. Letting on that he was. Trillick players impeded his run. And as a result, the referee's brought the ball forward. Paul Donny, this time with his left foot. Donaghy's shot looks good. Donaghy's shot goes over the bar, sails over the bar. It's his third of the afternoon and yet again, Peter Canavan, the sides are level. And Dungannon will be happy going in, uh, playing again the breeze here in the first period. I think every game they've played are bow. Eregel, they've been uh, behind after the first period of extra time. So again, this will not uh, phase them as we come into the last minute again. Big time. So too down below us is Daly Jones, but they will know. And there's McKerney. He's crapping as well. This is a war of attrition. Who can win the battle? Who can win the war? This man has been in the wars all evening. Matthew Walsh. Walsh retains possession. Gives it to a man that came on the second half. That's Kevin Barker. Barker has a man screaming for it inside. Can he use it? Did he carry too far? Referee says neither. The ball is in the hands of Kiefer Morgan. Kiefer Morgan has support there from Colonel Devlin. Devlin, a dual star. Good and handy with the hurling stick as well. Gives it inside there to uh, Kiefer Morgan. Back it goes again. Quinn thought about taking the shot. Quinn still fancies his chances. Quinn's shot is on its way. Quinn's shot has gone over the bar. Patrick Quinn has landed a quite magnificent magnificent point for Dungannon Clarks as soon as he got a pitter he had only one thing in his mind to go for the score absolutely and it came from a turnover on, on the, in the Dungannon half uh, Matty Walsh brilliant uh, turnover on, on Rory Brennan that set up that scoring opportunity Trillick now with what three and a half minutes left uh, their leaders have got to stand up they've got to emerge in, uh, yeah in the game to date this should be 1-7. Here he comes off the ground as normal. Yeah, straight over the black spot. We're all level yet again, Peter. Bring the strike and, and it'll be interesting to see how aggressive Trillick are um, pushing up on this uh, kick out. Or are they going to concede possession? They seem happy enough um, to concede it and they've given the ball to Dungana. Yeah, I was surprised at that. I thought they might have pushed up and took their chances. This is the opportunity for them to, to retain the O'Neill Cup the first time uh, that that would be done since Carrick Moore achieved that feat in 2004 and 2005 we'll follow the ball it's in McCarr
He gives it over to Kieran Barker. Barker will be forced back. Turlick with the full press now at this stage. Ball in the hands of Colin Devlin. Colin Devlin is only 19 years of age. Gives it over there to Dara Martin. Martin gets it back to Kieran Barker. They, they work this very well. They've got it out. Matthew Walsh back outside. It goes to Colin Devlin. Devlin coming forward. Leaves it there to Paul Donaghy. Donaghy. We lock up the field and it's three on three in there. Turlick have got no sweepers back as yet. Richie Donnelly trying to get back in there to fill the gap. But it's still three on three. There's a turnover is there? No, the referee says there's a push on the back and Dungannon still have the opportunity to retain the possession of the football and come forward and try and try to win, get this what, win and score. What is Shane Meehan, the referee, thinking here, Jed? Is he just waiting <laughs> on the three minutes? Is he happy to blow it? Is he happy to go to penalties? Well, Paul uh, Donahue has been pulled down over there, so that's a free to Dungannon. We've played. The three minutes are up. The three minutes have been played here now. It's up to the referee a long more. He wishes to play. There's a goalkeeper back there and he's got a defender alongside him. He was thinking of winning. The referee's going to, yeah, he's yeah. going to give Dungannon a chance. He certainly is. Here come the Dungannon men in the shape of Cole Devlin. Devlin to Matthew Watch. Watch gives it to Barker. This is the last chance to learn for both these sides. Acres, the, acres of space inside. Here we go. The ball put forward. Can it be held inside? It hasn't been held inside. The ball has been spilled by Quinn. And now here come Trillick. This is the opportunity for the Trillick men of 2020 to retain the title. Matty Donnelly. Donnelly looks up. Brilliant run on the near side here by Gary McKenna. But still Trillick have it. Ball slipped inside. It's been held there by Matthew Walsh. Brilliant for Walsh again. They're going and to get a chance. Here They're going to get a chance. Kevin Barker. Barker will have to run it. He has nobody inside with him. They have a man free in the far side chair. Yeah, but he hasn't looked up. He hasn't seen it. The ball is in the hands of McKernan. How his energy levels are sticking and I do not know. Good ball inside looking for Morgan. Did he touch on the ground? Referee says no. It's Larkin Mallon instead. Larkin Mallon gives it back to McKernan. Now for a hero. Here comes the chance. The ball is in the hands. Oh, it's all over. It is all over. And we will go to penalties and this incredible just sensational championship of 2020 has delivered once again and it just keeps delivering and we now will face into a penalty shootout to decide where the O'Neill Cup will go for 2020. Peter Canavan your take Morgan, what a game he had since he was introduced. He kicked that wonderful, wonderful point uh, to bring the game to extra time. Here he comes, left footed. Morgan into the bottom corner of the net. Super score from Kiefer Morgan. One penalty apiece. Two excellent penalties. Coolness personified by, by Kiefer. Uh, letting on his side foot it to his left. Put it into the bottom right. And uh, Ryan Kelly fully committed himself to the other side. Um, Dara Martin now comes out, hand the ball to Lee. He smiles at him, wishing him all the best. Uh, Lee Brennan, well, Lee Brennan's had a mixed time in terms of penalties over the last 12 months, but here he comes in the championship final. He's brave, he's stepped up, he's had a wonderful game. He scored 1 7, he's now scored 2 7 because his penalty nestles into the same corner of the net. All three penalties have gone to that bottom right hand corner as we look out here and Trillick lead 2-1 and, and so far Jer both goalkeepers have guessed they've guessed one corner and they've fully committed to going there so Larkin Mal coming up a relation of my own Jer um, yeah, didn't know that so will Larkin decide that the goalie's going to guess will he hit it straight down the middle will he go for the corner well Larkin Mallon faces Ryan Kelly, here comes Mallon. Good run up at it. Same side of the goals, but more down the middle. Yeah, I'd like to see others. it again. I think maybe he was taking into account what the goalkeeper, uh, Thrillic goalkeeper, did the previous penalty. And it's a brave man that, that Alex to hit it straight down the middle. Yeah. Because you can be made look very silly if the goalkeeper holds his ground and, and, and you kick it straight to him. Richie Donnelly, the next man up to take the penalty. The thrown senior player, 27 years of age, up against Dara Martin. Places the ball very, very carefully on the spot. Looks at the goalkeeper, looks at the post. He'll kick it right-footed. Here he comes, Richie Donnelly against Dara Martin. This is the third penalty for Trillick. Right-footed on its way into the same corner of the net again. Wonderful penalties. Three penalties to two in favour of the Trillick men. And again, it just looks as if a lot of these players have been uh, doing a bit of practice. Very confident strike by, by Richie. Again, Darren Martin fully committed going to one side. Guessed the wrong side. And we have uh, Connor, Connor, sub. Connor McKee, yeah, and who came on as a Adrian sub. Logan, Adrian biting, Logan, biting the nails. If there's any left there, Logie. Yeah. Um, 
He's he's certainly one of the stalwarts of the Dungannon Club. This is Connor uh, Connor McKee. Connor McKee. He's 22 years of age. Here he comes. Connor McKee. Oh, he's hit the post. Connor McKee has missed the first penalty of this shootout. So Trillick continued to lead three to two. Well, yeah. the fortune just didn't go as way. The butt of the post, Peter. Yeah, you're talking inches. Um Matty Donnelly coming up next for, for Trillick. Lorcan and Mal going in to console Connor. But again, matter, matter of inches. Um, and in fairness to Ryan Kelly, I think he guessed the right way. And, and if it had been on target, Ryan certainly would have got very close to it. The Sensi is certainly with the 2019 champions. And that is Trillick. Matty, Matty throwing the ball. Dara Martin came out to give Matty Donnelly the ball. He threw it at him. Matty says, no, I'm not going to use that one. He elects to take another one. He's taking his time. Not being pressurised. Psychological Big warfare here. Here comes. This will put them 4-2 in front. Matty Donnelly. Save. What a save from Dara Martin. Absolutely brilliant stop. One of the best saves I've seen in a long, long time. And that from Matty Donnelly. 3-2 still. Well, it's going everything Dungannon do. They don't do it the straightforward way. Um, Paul Donaghy is their next penalty taker. Will he head it straight down the middle? Will he, again, will he be, de- be determined to place it into one of the corners? Will he blast it? Well, 3-2 to two in favour of the men from Trillick. This to level matters up. It'll be Paul Donaghy, the hero of the games to date. Here he comes! Shoots brilliant penalty by Paul Donaghy. Super score! Three penalties apiece. And now we've had four penalties each, so we really are down to sudden death. If Dara Goller uh, scores or misses, evidently, then it'll be all over to the last Dungannon player to d- determine where the O'Neill Cup goes. So. Here is a big moment, and it's the captain of the team, Dara Goller. It's Dara faces Dara. Dara Goller faces Dara Martin, and Dara Martin's confidence will be sky high after that wonderful save from Matty Donnelly's penalty. Here comes Dara Gallagher, 25 years of age. Here he comes. Right footed. Saved. It's saved by Dara Martin. And now... Peter Canavan, Dungannon have a chance to win the O'Neill Cup if and this penalty is scored by Kieran Barker. It's going to be Kieran Barker, the man that won the game for them with the last kick of the game against Aragal, has now an opportunity to win the O'Neill Cup for Dungannon for the first time in 64 years. This what a massive kick. This is absolutely sensational. Absolutely unbelievable. Kieran Parker, what pressure there is on the shoulders of the 23 year old. He scored two points in the final today. Is this history? Here he comes. He's put it over the bar. He has missed the penalty. Kieran Parker, this championship just never ceases to deliver. This is a to his right, the ball went to his left but flew over the bar. Niall, Niall uh, Gormley. Gormley, sudden death. Here he comes, Niall Gormley. He say, oh, it's in the back of the net. The keeper gets right. I may have come off the keeper. Not the didn't best it? of kicks because, yeah, Dara Martin with his hands in his head because, uh, or with his head in his hands, sorry, Jerry, because he knows that of the two kicks that he's, uh, penalties that he saved, that was probably the easiest penalty. Got a hand to it, went into the back of the net. Now, Kiefer Morgan has to score to yeah. keep Dungannon in the championship. Well, Kiefer Morgan was the man who came up first for Dungannon and scored the penalty. Now, if Ryan Kelly saves this, or it goes wide, Trillick will win it. Here he comes! It's in the net! What a penalty by Kiefer Morgan! Nerves of steel from Kiefer Morgan! Blasted into the back of the net! Four apiece again! What a kick! And uh, Ryan Kelly guessed the, the right way. If Kiefer hadn't hit that well, uh, I've no doubt Kelly would have saved it. Now it's back to Lee Brennan and again Trillick staying in the same order. Uh, Lee was second on the list. It's coming yeah. up, scored the first one. A brilliant penalty it was. It went into the bottom right-hand corner as we look. Will he do the same again? What will Dara Martin do? Here comes Lee Brennan. An opportunity to put a side one in front. Oh, the opposite side from Lee Brennan. A brilliant penalty from Lee Brennan. Nerves of steel yet again. Super penalty. Not Trillick lead.
by one and in sudden death the whole pressure goes back onto the men from Dungannon. This is riveting, absolutely riveting stuff. Wherever you are in the world, I am sure you are glued to this. This is sensational stuff. Lorcan Ballon, he's the man. He scored the second penalty for Dungannon. Here he comes again. He knows that if he misses this, that Trillick will be the champions in 2020. So too does Ryan Kelly. So it's Lorcan Ballon against Ryan Kelly. Here comes Lorcan Ballon. Shoots. And oh, it's just about made it into the bottom corner. Larkin Mallon, Ryan Kelly guessed the right way. The drama continues, Peter I think, I think it went through Ryan Kelly's hands. Um, again, a bit like Dara in the previous one. He has now got his hands on his head, uh, knowing that he could have saved that. He could have won the O'Neill Cup uh, for Trillick. So we're talking about this being a game of inches. Literally, that's what it is. Five uh, apiece. Five apiece. Sudden death. We're on to our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, our eighth penalty taker. Richie and this Donnelly. time is Richie Donnelly. He took the third one uh, first time round. Here comes Richie. Shoots Brill. Oh, is it hit the, it's yeah, hit the net? The back stanchion. Back stanchion. Back stanchion. Again, if Lee's penalty was good, that, that was even better as well. Fantastic striking um, by Richie Donnelly. And next up we have Connor McKee. Connor hit the post um, in the first cycle of kicks. Yeah. Conor McKee Will missed. he go for the same side? Yeah, he missed his kick Did Conor McKee the first time round, but he has no option but to step forward, the 22-year-old. It'll take some nerve for Conor McKee to plant this on the back of the net. He must do this, or Trillig are the champions. Here comes Conor McKee against Kelly, and it's, oh, it's made its way into the back of the net. Not the best penalty that you'll ever see, but it somehow makes it into the back of the net, and there's level again, six apiece. I think he guessed that the goalkeeper was going to go. I think he strolled it, or kicked it straight down the middle of the goal. Very brave kick by Conor, especially after he had missed the first one. He so we're on to maybe was having a few words with with Matty on the way in. Uh, ninth penalty. Yeah. So Matty had the first one saved. He headed to the goalie's right hand side. Darren Martin pulled off a great save. Matty's second kick. Here he comes, Matty Donnelly against Darren Martin, the county captain. Matty Donnelly shoots. Oh, down the middle. Calmness, coolness, calmness personified there. Seven, six, two, uh, thrilling. Again, the last two kicks, they've, they've been watching the goalkeeper. Both goalkeepers guessing they're going one way. At some stage, maybe Ryan Kelly or Dara Martin will decide uh, to stand still and make an easy save. So, Paul Donaghy to keep Dungannon in with a chance of winning the O'Neill Cup. Well, here comes Paul Donaghy. He slotted his penalty away first time round. This is huge. Donaghy against Kelly. What a penalty from Paul Donaghy. We could be here all night. This is just incredible stuff. Seven apiece. Firstly, it was Manny Donnelly. Then Paul Donnelly has squared it up again. Confidence soaring uh, through these players now. And next up is Dara Goller, the man who missed this, first time round. This reminds me of an Anthem champ- Club Championship match last year where the club chairman came in after they were hitting free kicks. Mm. And both teams literally couldn't miss. And he called it off. He said, lads, we're going to a replay. I wonder if that come through Mickey Kerr's head at the minute. But uh, Dara, Dara Gallagher next the, up. The two Daras again face off. Dara Goller against Dara Martin. First time round, it was Dara Martin who won the battle. Second time round, who will it be? Dara Goller has the ball on the penalty spot. Dara Martin makes himself big and goes. Here he comes. Martin, oh, he's kept it over the bar. It's gone over the bar from Dara Goller. And now Dungannon have another chance. One more chance for Dungannon to win this O'Neill Cup for the first time in 64 years on the 10th penalty. And who will it be, Peter Cannavan? That's Kieran Barker coming up. Kieran blasted the first one over the bar. Have no, <laughs> have no doubt he's going to get this one on target. That's where he puts it. Um, it'll be a brave kick if he hits it down the middle because Ryan Kelly has been guessing one way or the other. Well, Shane Meehan's telling him to put it back. So again, like the first time round, Kieran has a chance to win the O'Neill Cup for Dungana. Yeah, Kieran Barker took the fifth penalty the last time round and he was in the same position. He had a chance to win it for Dungana. First time in 64 years. Barker has done it! Barker has done it! Look at the scenes! Unbelievable! Kieran Barker has just won the championship for Dungan and Clarks for the first time in 64 years. Incredible scenes out on the field. 
1908, 1909, 25, 29, 33, 35 and 36, 44, 47, 51 and 56. And now in 2020, the team that just would not go away, Peter Canavan, have delivered the goods. And all of Dungannon, wherever you are in the world, you are overjoyed with this occasion. This has just been incredible. Absolutely brilliant and, uh, and one of the best ever championships that there's been in throne. What a way to have won your first title in 64 years. Four games where each one of them a draw. Extra time coming strong to win it and to win your first title in 64 years in penalty in the manner in, in which they did. Fully deserved uh, Thrillic players and a number of the Gannon men c- coming over to shake hands with the desolate Thrillic squad. They put up one hell of a fight but you've got to take your hat off to a magnificent performance after such a poor start today uh, Dungan and Thomas Clarks are county champions you think of men like Mickey Kelly Oliver McHugh Adrian Logan Dick Cass-